That's good. You're gonna have great material there. Let's go. Grandmaster... Uh, who's this guy? This Grandmaster is... Pavel Kotsur, 2580 Fide. Okay, let's go. I'll play some Sicilian. And G6. Uh, Kotsur from Kazakhstan. Pretty good GM. Used to be 2600 for many years. And let's go with my specialty here, Bishop D7. It's not the most popular move against the long castle but i still enjoy this move i'll go with knight e5 if he goes h5 i'll i'm gladly gonna take by knight if he goes there i'll play queen a5 don't worry knight e5 is not gonna bring him anything now i'm threatening f3 he has to play bishop e2 he probably forgot the pawn and now i should be taking by bishop I gotta take by f1 because you never wanna open the file here i just wanna take by f knight sorry by e knight <laughs> looks absolutely cool as long as my knight controls d5 i'm fine uh, typical dragon type of game i wish i could sack my a rook there he wants to take well, you know what, uh, I can play queen c4, that's what I'm seeing here. Let me just go with the queen c4 move. Um, the idea of this move, if he takes, I'll take by knight. The idea is to control these light squares. Okay, on this one I'll play h5. Rick h3 idea was also to solidify his... I would say third rank. He wants to take on f6, but that should not bring him any luck. Here I want to definitely second exchange. Uh, you know that all dragon players like to second exchange more than anything else. And now I'll go with this move, right? Queen e5. I'm threatening his bishop. He's gonna play knight f3. Not a big deal. And they play queen a5. I'm still threatening to second exchange. If he goes with this, should I take by a rook? Should I take by knight? Rook takes knight e5. Rook takes f3. Let me just go with rook takes. I mean, I don't see anything special about this. If he's willing. Okay, he's now threatening here. He's gonna second exchange 100% sooner or later. On this one, I have rook f2. On this one, I have rook f2. Okay. And on that one, I have this move. And have this one. And going here. And he doesn't have any checks. And now it's my turn. And the mate is coming. Uh, not the most convincing game, but you should never complain when you beat up GMs uh, with these suspicious lines, because I told you Bishop D7 is not the main line against the Long Castle Dragon, which is called Rouser variation against the Dragon line. My father used to say, now you think, now when you're lost. Mr. GM, you were supposed to think earlier, not now. Now you can only resign. Okay, let me just go here. Let me go here and let me go with this nasty checkmate. Queen C5. Okay, next one. Argentinian guy. So let me go with the dragon. go with the dragon these guys from South America they like to play the main lines this is I believe it's called pano variation you just go with early bishop e6 now you take and play queen a5 so I can threaten here 
He threatens knight e5, so I play rook f c8. Now I want to go b5 and b4. And sooner or later they all play knight d5 like the biggest cowards. Otherwise they're just gonna get made it exactly. Oh my. Do I have to play like every single game against cowards like this one? This is why sometimes I believe that the dragon might have some problems in some of these variations. I can play bishop c4, I can play rook h8, so I can take and pressure him along the file. So let's see what's gonna happen there. But okay, uh, I played a fairly nice game so far. I'll take it. I'll take it. And here I'm already completely winning, right? I'll take it. And I'll go with g5 and g4. Uh, actually, let me just go with this one to place this pawn on b4 to reduce material to place the pawn on the color opposite of the pawn. I believe b4 was correct reaction. But nobody knows anything about the end games. Okay, and now this one and just go home, man. That's all, folks. I'll go here to threaten this pawn. Okay, I mean, I can take it. I can play rook f4 to earn tempo. Let's push the pawn. He can't even reach this pawn now. My rook is on the fourth rank. Now I'll go with my king. He can't approach anywhere. I'm gonna keep pushing my pawn. Crucial mistake in this game was e5 when he played. Before that, after rook h8 position is roughly equal, maybe a little bit better for me, but I don't think so. On this one, I can play here, right? And if you play rook e4, I play king f5, right? Now I'm threatening bishop in this piece. If you play rook e2, I'll take and take everything. Take on e5, and if bishop c6, then I have bishop d5, right? And let's go, let's start pushing these pawns. That's the only good thing that I know tonight. Okay, king d4, I want to push this pawn up to e4. Now controlling b4, who's gonna stop e5, e4, f3. He can't stop it anymore. Can I take that? Thank you. I'll defend it. And give check. I could have even pushed the pawn, but it doesn't matter. Let's go. This was a nice dragon game and showed you ignorance of end games on all kinds of levels. Sicilian, I was supposed to play. Let's go with with the dragon that you like so much. This is dragon opening. Well, you just trade it in the most normal fashion. You want to jump somewhere, kill the light square bishop, take it there, play a6 to defend the a7 pawn. Get rid of this knight. I have a bishop here, but not too happy with this position. I can take by bishop. I can take. Uh, I cannot take by knight because e7 is eventually gonna hang. I can play rook e8 and double my pawns at first glance. Let's go with this one. It looks interesting to recapture by e pawn.
Let me just go with this. Rook c5 to force c5, in which case I'll play b5. Important thing is that after c4, I'll be playing b5, breaking the connected pawns in order to weaken a d5. Although I'm not too impressed with both positions, pretty boring one. I like to play dragon in my blitz games. Whenever I feel like bored of some openings, I just go with this. And by the way, for all of you who like tactics, Sicilian dragon with black pieces sounds like a serious alternative. Uh, I go here, so if he captures, I'll recapture. If he takes on a6, I'll take on c4. In Blitz, it's very important to maneuver a lot, not to blunder. And basically, if you're in, of course, to be great tactically. And when you're in good shape, when you don't blunder, and uh, when you see like most of the tactics that appears on the board, you're almost unbeatable. I'm now happy with my position because I see uh, lots of weaknesses in his position. He's gonna take by rook. Okay, no big deal. 94. Bishop d4, queen d1. In case of queen e2, bishop d4. Let me just go with it. It's just important not to blunder and uh, that's usually what happens to me lately uh, which shows two things that you're either tired or out of shape in my case I believe it's mix of both but okay today I just beat like a couple of strong GMs and I believe it's it started like a good day for my blood just go here even though it's kind of weakening myself I just want to stop some on g3 h4 to have yeah okay if I play king g7 he's gonna be able to take it Oof. this looks kind of dangerous knight h7 96 knight h7 let me go with that move 96 Worst case scenario, queen f5. Nothing impressive. I gotta go with some riskier options for me here. Preventing b7 with rook b7. So let me just, okay, I gotta go and take this one. So let me just go there. Mm -hmm. I'm controlling just everything. This is what I'm telling you. you you're not supposed to make blunders like this. Oops. Why did he think that I had to that I had to take on b7, I mean 97 controls the promoting square. Espinoza got. Let's go. And let's play the dragon. On g3 you always play first knight c6. And bishop g7. And now you just say, man, what's wrong with you? Bishop g4, I want to play bishop f3. And Espinoza got plays 
some terrible stuff here. If okay, let me just take it, take it here, take it here, take the Gwen. Espinosa God is really God. I like the way he plays. I love it, babe. Okay, that was a fast game. Let's go with another one. Halbert Georgian. Never played against this guy. I guess from Armenia. Let's play some dragon opening with black pieces. And I like when I play dragon, I fill on my own field, so it's good. Okay, this is the Yugoslav variation. It just transposed there. So I'll play knight a5, rook c8, and on g4 you play b5. Idea is if they play, if they take, you just go with other moves. So let me go with h4, b4. He has to jump knight d2, in which case I take, play e6 and a5. If he plays knight to d5, in that case I play a5. And I'm getting ready to play a4. f4, a4, f takes, a takes, b3, e takes, f6, b takes. Knight b3, for example, even queen a5 looks interesting there. So it's kind of tricky. Actually, f4 doesn't work because I'll take on g4. So on g5. a4 g takes doesn't seem to be working i gotta play here on f4 a4 f takes a takes b3 i believe that one should work here let me go with this chase this bishop away i'm not gonna miss a chance to play that move and queen a5 to go after the light square bishop in this game and play rook fc8 and now I get an upper hand in this type of the game it's the typical dragon position I wish I could push some b3 queen a5 is hanging I can take here and position would be fine I can also play knight c4. Uh, spend so much time. I could have played knight c4 at some point. Here I'm gonna take and play queen e5, threatening knight and threatening rook. So if he plays f4, I'll take on e4. Plus, I got a possibility to take on d4 afterwards by rook. I have an idea such as a3 and b3, so rook to d4 should be completely winning for us. That should be completely winning. Okay, let's go with b3 to break the game. To go with bishop here, so he can't, I'm threatening bishop e2, he can go rook f1 to play this move. I'll be playing here. I don't think that I gave him any chances in this position if I gave up the pawn. So now it's time to push this pawn. Uh, on that one I go here. He doesn't have check because I'm controlling by bishop and rook. I'll take here. I can take easily and push this because I just have a nice control of the game and that's like completely, completely winning. He does have this square. Let me just play check. And now he's probably hoping that I'm gonna push pawn and he's gonna get in stalemate. No, that's not gonna happen. And the small uh, slight torture is gonna happen here. He doesn't wanna resign. Let's torture this guy. He has to learn to be uh, just a decent chess player and to also be cool, so to resign. And let's go with 
with the dragon. Everybody plays this line. I'll play knight c6 and go with my path variation, bishop d7, that in theory is considered to be very suspicious. I played knight e5. And whether they play h5 or king b1, I play queen a5. Queen b3, queen c7, now I'm threatening this pawn. Taking by f pawn, I'm still threatening on f3. And now I do a counter uh, sack, yeah, this one. I'll go with this, and if he goes with that move, I'll go e6. Now if he takes on d6, I'll take here, and the mate is coming. And here I just take on f3. And now I'm up a pawn, I'm up a bishop here. Uh, he's terrible here. I believe that the queen h3 doesn't work because of this. Okay, so what's a big deal? I just have to find something. Bishop h6 for h6. Let me just put my bishop in the center of the board to defend this one. My king is in safety, h file is closed, so everything looks more than good for me. Okay, I don't see what is he trying to do. Let me just go with rook g3. Rook f7 could do a good job, but let's say I'm greedy here and I want to win. A little bit more of material. So queen g5, I just take on d4 and take on c2. I want to take on g4 definitely. Isn't, isn't this mate, man? What's wrong? It's not mate, huh? Bishop d4, queen d4, queen c2. What if rook b8, queen d2? Let me just go with rook b8. I can see some threats there. He has to go queen d2. I'll take on g4. And I want to retain the initiative. I want to take on e4. I have open b in this file. a5 in case he ever plays knight b3 to chase it away with a4. So I like this a5 move, especially now if I play the pawn on a4, then I'm gonna threaten some queen b6. Bishop on e5 is a monster here without any uh, hesitation, just play this one. I'll take it here. Okay, fine. Let me go bishop g3 to attack this rook with tempo and defend this. And my next move will be bishop c6 to attack pawn on e4. How is he going to defend this pawn on e4? No matter what he does, I'll play bishop here. If he plays knight g5, I'll sack. As a dragon player, you should never hesitate to do something like this. Never. Bishop e4. The fun fact is that it turned out that this game was beautiful. Typical dragon game. And now this guy is a loser, doesn't want to resign, but Big Maya is gonna play queen c2 and mate him. <laughs> 